At six, the family of an area teen killed in a fall from an amusement park ride launching a lawsuit. They claim the operator's negligence resulted in his death. You're watching News 4 at 6. I'm Corey Stark. I'm Samantha Jones. It's a case that's gained national attention. 14-year-old Tyree Sampson died a month ago after falling from a Florida ride. Gabriella Vidal examined that lawsuit and reveals what Sampson family is aiming for after this tragic incident. Gabby? Yeah, both Tyree Sampson's mother and father are listed as plaintiffs in this wrongful death suit. The attorney for Sampson's mother tells News 4 today multiple parties from the manufacturer all the way down to the right operator are responsible for not ensuring the right was safe. Starts with the manufacturer and how they manufactured this ride with a dangerous design to the Icon Park who, who wanted different rides here, dangerous rides, rides that would attract visitors from all over the country, and then the ride operator who slingshot, who operated this ride in a totally negligent manner uh, to the point where they actually manipulated the seats, which should have never been done. Today, the attorney for Orlando Slingshot responded to the lawsuit, reiterating that all protocols, procedures, and safety measures provided by the manufacturer were followed the day Tyree Sampson fell off the free fall ride, and they continue to cooperate with the state's investigation. The lawsuit questions why the ride only had one form of restraint and no seat belt, and why Sampson wasn't prevented from riding despite being over the maximum weight limit. Nikia Dodd's attorney says no amount of money could ever bring back her son, but she does hope that this lawsuit will force amusement park industry to employ greater safety measures moving forward. What Nakia wants to talk to everyone about, most importantly mothers and fathers, is that this case is about keeping their children safe too. And what she is motivated to do to change this industry. And that's what she really has waited to talk to everyone about, to gain the strength to do it. And she feels she's ready at this point in time. And tomorrow we will actually be hearing from Nakia Dodd speak publicly for the first time since her son died on March 21st during a press conference with her attorney at Live, Live, Live by Lowe's downtown. Samson's father will be at another uh, press conference tomorrow with his attorney mm -hmm. down in Florida at the Icon Park. Um, he's represented by Bob Hillard and Ben Crump. A lot of emotion there, no yeah. doubt, tomorrow. It's just been a tragic loss for that family, but also the community. And this yeah. was a kid that seemed like he had a really bright future. Yeah, I can only imagine how tough it's going to be for the mom to speak about this for the first time yeah. tomorrow. A pain right. parents are not intended to know. Gabby, thank you. Let's get